Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to get an arrow in your video. You can see there's an arrow, there's an arrow, and there's an arrow. And I'll also show you how to draw your own shapes. Alright, so the first thing is I'm just going to put a video track here and I'm going to now paste a video file or drag a video file across. And there I have the setup already. You can see I've got two arrows there and there you can see I've got the one arrow. So how do you do this? Alright, so let's get started. There's the video file and I want to put an arrow. As you can see, I've got an arrow. I want to point to this pipe over here and then I also want to point to this pipe over here. Right, so I want my background of my arrow to be orange. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to Media Generators and then if you look on the side here, it says Solid Colors. Now I'm just see the orange here and I'm just going to drag the orange to my additional video track and there it is. If you've got nowhere to drag the solid color, just insert a new video track, that's all. So the point is, is that the solid color must be above the video that you want to have the arrow on. So there is the solid color and as you can see, it blanks over, it puts the orange over the video because it is higher in the order of video tracks. You see there, this one is higher than this one. If, for example, your video track was there, as you can see, now the orange isn't shown. So make sure that when you do insert your solid color, it is above your video media that you want to annotate. So there we go. There's the video. And now I want to kind of cut out just the arrow shape. So you can do this in more than one ways. Right, now to have the arrow shapes quite easy, you just go grab a function. The function you're looking for is cookie cutter. You open the cookie cutter and you can see you're going to have quite a few options here. Now at the moment it doesn't look like it's going to give you the arrow option but I'm going to show you what to do. In the drop down menu under shape you'll see that it actually says here arrowhead right, arrowhead upside down left and just arrowhead. So what you can do is now you can choose the arrowhead that you want. So I'm going to choose arrowhead right now but obviously it's too big. Just come to the size slider and I'm going to make that smaller. But now I want this arrow to point to this pipe over here. Click on the center and there you can see it gives you the option to move this shape anywhere you want. So there I'm going to put it right by that pipe, pointing to that pipe. And now maybe you want to duplicate this shape. So then you'll just say repeat X. X meaning the horizontal plane. And there you can see I can now put both arrows pointing to these two pipes. And if you wanted to point to things in the vertical plane, then you'll say repeat Y. As you can see, Y being the vertical plane and X being in the horizontal plane. Now maybe you say, all right, I want to create a border around this shape. So as you can see what I'm doing here, how come it does that border? Well, it's picking up the color from the color that is selected here. So if I want to have a red border, maybe you want a yellow border. There we go. There you can adjust the thickness of the border and then feather is just whether you want it to be a very clear boundary or you want it to be almost smothered. There you can see it's smoothing out and then it's getting less smooth and more defined. All right, so there is the arrow shape. Right, now what happens if you want to draw your own shape? You don't need to use the cookie cutter. All you need to use is the mask. So I've still got that colored shape here. Now this could be anything. And I go to the crop option. There you see crop. And then I just tick the box here, which is mask. And what it's doing is it's allowing me to cut out what I don't want from the pictures. When I say picture, I mean this orange rectangles. Can you see that what it's doing is it's making this orange mask over the video underneath. Now that's not a custom shape. So to draw the custom shape, all you'll do is you will come here at this point here, which is the anchor creation tool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, using the left click of my mouse, just put these points down. Now I wanna make an arrow, so I'm just going to do that, 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 that there and just close it off and as you can see there is my uneven freehand arrow and if you want to delete some of these anchor points I've now toggled this del anchor deletion tool as you can see there it is now on and if I just come over here and click you can see I've lost that and lastly you can use the cookie cutter and the freehand mask tool together All right, so I'm going to cancel the shape here and I'm going to do that Right, so now I've got the rectangle. Now I'm going to add the arrowhead from the cookie cutter side. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an additional shape. Because remember that if I add the cookie cutter directly here, you'll see that that's not going to work. As you can see, it's cutting away some of that uh, rectangle that I've just drawn. So what I want to do is I want to disable the cookie cutter and then add the cookie cutter onto its own solid color once again. 
So here now I'm going to choose yellow. I'm going to bring the shape there. Then I'm going to add the cookie cutter. There we go. And there you can see I've mixed the inbuilt shape using the cookie cutter, but keeping in mind, you see I've put it above here, and that is why the yellow is over the orange. If you had to swap these, you will see that the orange would be over the yellow. Now if I want to move them, you could use picture in picture, but I'm just going to just move them quickly because it's quite easy here. I just go to the crop, and I'm just going to shift this down because remember I said I wanted to point to that pipe, and now I'm going to go to the uh, top of the shape cookie cutter and then just shift that one and then just shift that one like like that all right so there you can see i've now mixed it up and i've used both and obviously you'll come up with your own cool creative ideas all right so thanks for watching cheers